Welcome to our constellation kit video where I'm going to show you what you get in your kit. So here we have some constellation cards which are filled with constellations like Pegasus, Cancer, the Crab, Leo the Lion, and the Big Dipper, also known as Ursa Major. These cards are going to help when recreating these constellations with the five pipe cleaners that you also receive, as well as pony beads that are going to be used to represent the stars of your constellations. And then, once that's all done, you're going to get your stargazer ready to go. Using a paper tube and the materials, you're going to decorate your stargazer. So what is a constellation? A constellation is a grouping of stars in the sky. And these groupings form particular shapes and are given names of animals, people, and objects. Now, to help you spot and focus in on these constellations, we are going to make our very own stargazers using our paper tubes. To decorate my stargazer, I'm going to be using crayons, and then I'm just going to choose which colors I would like to use for my stargazer. These are the colors that I've chosen and I have a blank canvas to start coloring and decorating. So I wanted my tube to kind of look like the night sky. So I'm gonna use my constellation card as a reference. But I also picked out some other different colors that don't show up on the constellation card. So I begin coloring and coloring until I am satisfied and happy with how my stargazer looks. And you can decorate yours in any way you'd like. And once I finish adding my final touches to my tube, I'm going to finish up by adding my gold star stickers. These will really make my gazer look like the night sky. I'm just sticking those on for some final touches to my stargazer. And once it's done, I have a stargazer ready to go. Now with your constellation cards, you are going to use the pipe cleaners to practice making the constellations. And while doing this, this could help you recognize the constellations in the sky. So we're going to use our pipe cleaners and our pony beads. So I'm going to try these two today, the Big Dipper and Cancer the Crab. To start with the crab, let's take a look. We have one, two, three, four, five stars that are connected throughout this constellation. So I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I'm just going to look at the shape of our constellation. The lines are traced for you, but in the sky, you don't see lines. So when we're looking to the sky for these constellations, we'll need to look very closely at the position of our stars because there's going to be no lines for us to see. And this is how I have started my Cancer constellation. I bent it on one end and added the bead. I'm going to add my second bead that is going to replicate the bottom. The bottom star there and I have one more star over here so for this part I'm gonna slide my bead on just enough to where I want it to go then I'm gonna bend my pipe cleaner and pipe cleaners are easily bendable so you can 
weave it through beads to help it secure together better. And you can twist and mold the pipe cleaner to the shape you need it. Looking back and forth to my card, I'm going to use that to help me with my shape and the position of my constellations. And do my best to match it to the cards. After adding all the beads, I'm going to take a look at my constellation compared to the card. And it looks pretty close. Each star from the card is also matching with each bead on my pipe cleaner. So everything is in place. And I have made a Cancer Constellation. And now so can you. And next I'm going to try Ursa Major, also known as the Big Dipper. So with this one, it kind of looks like a spoon. So we have four stars there making up the spoon. And then we have the handle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven stars making up this constellation. To start, I'm going to grab my pipe cleaner again and just begin shaping out the line that I see in our constellation. So we have the rectangular spoon shape and then our handle. How do you think that looks? So we have our shape. The next step is to add our seven beads to represent our seven stars. I'm using the card as my reference for the beads to match the position of the stars. And once I've finished, I now have an Ursa Major constellation. So let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. Both have the bowl and the handle. So I now have that, and I have my Cancer constellation, which is the crab. And then you can practice your constellations with the other constellation cards you received. And now you have it, your constellations. And as a bonus, you can create your very own constellation. And once you have your stargazer and your cards, you can take these on outside. Bum on P everyone, I hope you enjoy discovering and creating your very own constellations.